this is officially the start of the new series that I'm starting. Every Tuesday I will be uploading a video. Not probably not a, even a 10 minute video, but basically what I'm gonna do in each of the videos on Tuesdays, I will be talking about one specific fish. These will all be fish that I've either kept before or that I have right now, obviously, because I know a good amount of information about them. So I'm gonna try this out for about two months or so and uh, see how I like it and I may continue with it. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any any specific fish that you want me to do definitely let me know in the comments below but without any further ado we're going to hop right on in to this first episode i guess you would say and this first one that we're going to be doing is about the pea puffer so these little dudes are really fun fish to keep in everything and they can be a little territorial and they actually are best to be kept in a you know a little group of about three to four in a tank and Normally, you want to keep them in about a 15 to 20 to 30 gallon size tank. You don't want to keep them in a very small tank because, like I said, they can be pretty territorial. You want to provide a lot of hiding places for them, even if they are the only fish that are going to be in the tank. Now, you really don't want to keep them with any other fish. They are good to be kept by themselves just to, like, have a designated pea puffer tank as I do. Just make sure there's a lot of plants in there, like uh, make some little caves and stuff like with rocks or driftwood or something. And uh, dwarf hair grass is a very good plant. That's what I have in my pup pea puffer tank and they absolutely love it. Now two fish that I've noticed can be really good tank mates for these as far as cleaner fish are Cory Cats and Otis Singlesses. Now these are both pretty small uh, little catfish to hang out around the bottom and you know just kind of help clean up around the tank. Uh, but they can go and nip at these guys as well. But over time they kind of you know learn the way out through the tank and everything and aren't too big of a problem with them. But you definitely want to avoid bigger fish, bigger predatory, more aggressive fish. If there are going to be any fish that are not bottom cleaner fish that you could keep with these guys, I would recommend something like guppies are actually a pretty good uh, tank made to go with these guys. I've actually seen them being kept with guppies at fish stores before and they typically do really good with them. But you definitely don't want to have anything really big in the tank with them, uh, anything that you would be worried about eating them because uh, there's a really high chance that, that could happen. As far as what these little dudes like to eat, now a very common fish food in the hobby is flakes, pellets, granules, that, that kind of stuff. These guys will not eat any of that, okay? They like more natural, live food, frozen food, that kind of stuff. I typically feed mine bloodworms, mice shrimp, brine shrimp. They love that kind of stuff. It's just like any other puffer, they do have to trim down their little beaks. Uh, it's not as big of a problem with them as it is with the bigger species of puffers, but they definitely do need uh, small crustaceans in the tank, such as little pond snails and stuff. You do have to have something in the tank that's small enough for them to be able to go up and, you know, crunch on, but... You know, anything that's really big, because actually in my peep over tank, there's actually two zebra nearite snails, and they've been in there for months now, and they have not bothered them, bothered them at all. That is something that would be another good, uh, like, cleaner to go in the tank to help clean up algae and stuff, that they would probably not bother. But little, small little pond snails and stuff, that is something that you would definitely want to keep in there in the tank with them, and especially if you got them breeding in the tank. That would be really good as well because it'd be like a constant food source for them. And, you know, like I said, they have to have something to be able to trim those little beaks down to get out in the front of their mouth. Now, due to habitat loss, these guys are starting to decrease in the wild. These guys are native to India. Another name for them would be the Indian puffer. Now, I really wouldn't recommend pea puffers as a beginner fish, but uh, if you're more intermediate, stuff like that, more advanced level, when keeping fish, and they're a really fun fish to have. Just make sure you give them a really good tank with a lot of hiding places, a lot of plants. Keep it really nice, clear, and clean and everything for them because these guys are very susceptible to uh, high ammonia levels and pH levels. Uh, so definitely make sure you're doing at least 25 to 50% water changes weekly. But as long as you give them a good habitat and everything and feed them and all that, then you know they're really, really cool fish to have. If there are any other fish species in particular that you want me to do for this series, definitely let me know. I'll be doing this every Tuesday weekly for about two months or so. Like I said, I'm going to see how I like it and everything, see how you guys like it. Definitely give me, give me your feedback. Let me know your thoughts on the series and everything. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all like in about a month and a half to two months or so. Anyways, guys, yeah, so with that being said, I will catch you all in that next video. Peace.